So friends, this right here is Tom Salvo. Tom has something that if you watch the Gene Autry story, he has not seen this item since the last time he saw it was 48 years ago when he handed it to Elvis. Tom owns this item. So we're going to bring Gene in and we're going to introduce him and then Tom is going to let Gene see the badge for the first time in 48 years. So we're going to bring him in. Mika brought him. Brought Gene up here. This is Mika. This is Gene Autry. This is Tom Salva. I wanted to let you know, Gene, I, uh, the, the segment that you did with Billy yes. regarding meeting Elvis in Graceland, yes. presenting with the badge, was fantastic. And I, I would trade anything to have been in that place with you. And, and, and the way you told him, the way it happened was, was priceless. It was really, really, you know, I mean, it was uh, unbelievable. Not many people can say that, you know. That's right. So uh, I, I, that's something you cherish the rest of your life. That's right. right? I mean, uh, I'm a big Elvis fan, uh, collecting photos, this and that, whatever. And uh, there isn't anything I wouldn't, that I have that I wouldn't give to trade places with you. I mean, that's priceless. I know. It. Well, you did, and I mean, it, it was. was special. It was a dream come true for I, me. I, I could, I could, I, just unbelievable. And, and in Graceland, not like, you know, in Vegas backstage, that's you're right. in his home. His home. And he gave you a private tour of his home. Yes. And how about when you said, uh, you said, <laughs> Elvis, uh, I'm Gene Autry. And you said, oh, Gene Autry can't sing. And you says, well, you sure can, Elvis. Right? Yeah, and, he said that. And, and he said, I think uh, some people think I can. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's the, yeah, yeah, that's Elvis. You know, that was great. So it's been a lot of years since that happened, right? Yes, yes. Right, I tell you, and, uh, it was priceless. You know, uh, I, I just can't. Uh, you know, it's just, how many years has it been? 48. 48. So I would have to imagine in 48 years you haven't seen this. No, sir. I haven't. No. There you go. You, you look at it, Gene. I've had that for many years. How in the world did you get this? Well, Gene, when I tell you, when I tell you the story, it's, it, it's unbelievable. And I'm going to tell you this because the story about how I, I obtained it, it is incredible. 30, 40 years ago, there was a magazine called Goldmine Magazine. Do you remember? Like a period, like a newspaper type mm -hmm. magazine? No. A music magazine. In the back, they had a classified. So I'm reading and they had like Elvis Presley badge, personal badge. I call up and I speak to a gentleman in South Bend, Indiana, where Notre Dame is, you know? And I said, sir, I said, this Elvis badge, what exactly is it? He says, well, Tom, he says, my wife, Worked as a maid at the Holiday Inn, I believe he said, in South Bend. And when Elvis played Notre Dame University, he stayed there. My wife was in charge of uh, cleaning his room. When Elvis left that day, she went in to clean, and underneath the pillow was this badge. And I says, really? And he says, yes. And I said, he said, we call Graceland and talked to somebody, a secretary, and we said, we explained the situation that Elvis stayed here. We found the badge, and they said, well, he's got tons of police badges. Just keep it as a souvenir. And, and, and now, Gene, now what I think is that the secretary, that is true. He had hundreds and hundreds of police badges, yes. but they didn't realize it was this one. He collected badges. Yeah, he collected, yes. but I, I'm sure Graceland didn't know it was this one. Yes. So they sent me Polaroids, which I still have, and a letter to show it to me. And I, they said, you're interested? I said, absolutely. They sent it to me, and I said, I, I, I'll buy it. I said, I'll absolutely buy it. And then in the interim, they go, well, our son doesn't want us to sell it. And I says, well, I, I can understand that, you know? So that was about 35 years ago. And then about six years ago, there was an auction at a, from an auction house in New York City. And I had the catalog, and I look, and there it was. And I went oh, to the auction, goodness. and I'm sitting there, and I'm saying, oh, boy, this is going to be, I might have to leave the auction and rob a bank, you know, <laughs> enough money to pay for it, you know. So I'm sitting there, and it comes up, and they start the bidding, and I'm the only one bidding on it. And I, it was real quick. And here's the most amazing thing. The asking price they were asking 35 years ago, the, 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 from uh, their name was Niles. I got it for half the price. You know, all those years later, and I, uh, and then, and then when I saw your, your story, 
You know, I said, holy crow. You know, I couldn't thank Billy enough for posting it. And I said, I would love to show it to you. You know, I really would. Oh, and, yes. And, and, and Gene Autry, I tell you one thing. You'll never find anybody that's taken better care of it. You took care of it. Listen, took care Gene, of this. Gene, you took care of it. Elvis took care of it. And I took care of it. Right? Yes. And uh, yes. they couldn't find three better it's unbelievable. Yeah. It looks just like it did the way right. I give it to him. Yes, yes. Just like the way I give it to him. Right, right. Isn't that something? It has been well taken care it of. It has been. I, I cherish it. initials in the bottom, initials. Right. And the, yeah, and uh, just and I'm so happy that, you know. Certificate of authenticity. Yep. 11 30, 1970. Yeah. That's when we had it made. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. But I, I tell you, the fact that you met him in Graceland like that, and you're standing there, and, and, and you want to hear, what was that date again? It was uh, July the 1st, 1971. 1971. I, I would, I, and I showed Billy not too long ago outside there that I was here in Memphis February 4th, 5th, and 6th of 1971 on a recruiting trip for football mm -hmm. for Memphis State. Mm -hmm. And I had just missed him because he was performing in Vegas. It was right after the JCs. And Mayor Lowe brought me up to Graceland to meet him. And the guard came out and says, well, I'm sure Elvis will love the, the mayor always said, we have a future Memphis State Tiger football player here. like to meet Elvis. And the gentleman, whoever it was, said, I'm sure Elvis would like to meet him too. But he's yes. a Vegas performer. <laughs> but since I didn't get to meet him, you picked up the slack and you did it for me. Boy, you got I'm to meet him. You know? I'm telling you, he was something else. Oh, I tell you. He was um, unbelievable. Gene, when I, when I, the way you told that story, and I says, wow. And, I, and another thing I said, you know, when I was listening to your interview, I was thinking, what a gentleman you are, and yes. I said, I couldn't have wished that good luck on a, on a better man. Yes. And yes. I know Elvis was probably so, you know, I'm, I'm sure Elvis was, and you had said, I'm sure he was as thrilled meeting you as you were I, meeting He was. Him. He, yeah. was a, he got a big kick out of seeing me as I right. met him. Because he got tickled when I started, you know, I had my arm around him. Right, uh, right. Walking all the way through the house. Right, right. And, and uh, of course, there's a while before Priscilla came down, and she right. said, he said, uh, he told Priscilla, he said, I wish you could have seen the look on that boy's face when I walked in this room. Right. He said, if I live to be 100 years old, I will never forget this boy right here. Wow. That, and he said, from now on, anywhere I am, you're going to have you're gonna have uh, tickets. Wow. And wow. I saw him, about, I guess, five or six times after that. Wow. Where I could. That's you know? great. It, you know what, and the thing is, the fact that Elvis was, you know, the consummate gentleman, and you mm -hmm. are also... You guys connected right away. Yes, you we know, did. I mean, yes. two southern guys from Tupelo. Yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't get any. You were like no. brothers in a sense. No. You know? That's right. That's and right. Uh, you know, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm he, so happy for you that you experienced. And, and that. he got so tickled at me, though. I, I went around, you know, and I was just like somebody crazy, you know. I guess. Right. He thought I was crazy. I, I mean, I, I, I was so glad to see. Yeah, him. I don't know how I would have reacted. You know? I mean, I would have probably not been able to say too much, but uh, you know, I tell you, if. Uh, if, if I had to pick one person to present that badge to him, it would be, I don't even think I'd pick Billy the Spa Man to do it. I think it would be you. Me, me. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tupelo, son, Tupelo. and him. Wow, yeah. that's, that, that, that is one of my favorite Elvis stories of all time. See, you know? he come down, he come down after uh, he got that uh, narcotics badge from the president right. in 1970. In and December. we had him a badge. The sheriff in Tupelo didn't have enough but a little star badge. Right, right. I see and, the and they yeah. give him that. And uh, of course, we had this made. Then right. Uh, yeah. We had that made for him so it looked better, you know, like the one on Dragnet. Right, right, right. You know, the right. shell badge. He loved badges. Yes, yeah, he, he sure did. did, he did. You know? And I've been to Graceland several, several times looking for this badge in that case. Have you, you know, really? Got, they wow. got all, and I wondered what ever happened to it. And that's I mean, something. And I wondered, wondered, been, were, wondered, were, yeah. wondered where in the world that badge went. Yeah, it was well, it was being protected well. You well know, it really protected. Was. It has been well yeah. protected. I took it care sure of it for you. It you sure, and Elvis, I really Yes, have sir, you. you sure have. You know, I mean, I'll continue to. You know. Lee County. Lee County, your own county. EPA, yeah. Unbelievable. Lord, that was, a, that was a day to remember right there. Boy, that, that, uh. I mean, that's, that's like a dream of everybody. It is. And, and the thing that really is like to meet him in his home. Yeah. In Graceland. Inside of Graceland. Inside of Graceland. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that, that, is, that is the ultimate, ultimate place. You know, mm -hmm. like, I mean, I saw him in concert six times. And I would, ta I would take in any circumstance, meet him after the concert. But to actually meet him, you know, there would have been, you know. He's got it in his hand, right? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, I and, saw that. And you know whose hand that is? 
That's yours. Uh, <laughs> how'd, I figure, how'd I figured I should be a detective? How'd I figure that? <laughs> and I say I'm yeah. one man, my wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I had my arm around him all the time. We was walking through the house. He carried me all back through the and through the music room, through right. the trophy room back there. And he said, "You want to see my trophies?" I said, "Yeah." And he went back there and showed me all of his gold and, records and all of his uh, memorabilia that he collected over the years. Right. He had, he had a uh, he had a gun that belonged to uh, to uh, he said General Omar Bradley gave him, and he had a. Uh, Muhammad Ali's boxing gloves and and and, and, and gee, you want to know something honestly? Kind of I mean, he that gun that Omar Bradley gave him, he had given that to Barbara Lay, one of his girlfriends. When he was dating her, they came to Beverly Hills and went to her apartment, and somebody had broken in. And Elvis said, "Here, you take this gun. You were with me when I met General Omar Bradley, so you had this as protection." Yes. And I had gotten that from her years and years ago, and I just let it go two years ago. The, the gun? gun that you, the Omar Bradley gun. And I, this is crazy what's going on here right now because I had told Sonia, uh, standing over here, that somewhere, somewhere we saw a picture. I don't know who he was with. Might have been Janelle McCone or somebody. But Elvis was dressed like this with this belt on. And Patsy Presley Gamble, Gamble. had given me this belt. And the buckle. And I said, thank God. I said, that's not a concert belt or anything. You know, I never saw him wearing it. Well, sure enough, when I gave it to some, some young lady I went to high school with, she's a big fan. Five, six years later, the picture surface with him wearing it. You know? And I, I, who would have thought that, you know, so actually there were like three, yeah. three things that, physical things that, yeah. you know, we connected on mm -hmm. down the road, you know? But yeah. I, I had this belt and this buckle, and I'm saying, I don't know, you know, he, I know he didn't wear it on stage. I no, no. I and then he just had that hanging yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't even in the belt. And I had it. Or nothing. And yeah. so the young was, lady really was a big fan and really wanted something. And I just said, wow. Well, and I kept, I kept talking to him about it. I kept looking at it when he was walking yeah. around there. And I said, boy, that sure is a nice belt. That sure is a good looking belt. Yeah, yeah. And he, I thought he was going to give it to him. Yeah. He never did. You should have. <laughs> Yeah, well, gee, said, what you should say, he had, he had rings on too, right? Yeah, he had should, all those rings. He probably would have said, hey, that's yeah, a nice yeah. ring there. And then, gee, when you walk yeah. outside, yeah. boy, that's a nice studs you have. <laughs> Maybe later drop on no, the studs. No, I was more interested in that bag. <laughs> I know. God almighty. But yeah. I thought, well, you know, by me giving him this badge, I said, well, yeah. man, give me something. He know? was probably so thrilled. But he was. He was he thrilled, was you know, really, that he was like, wasn't even. He, he was. He was. If he was in normal state of mind, he, he, I'm sure he would have given you, you know. He got uh, as big a kick out of seeing me as right. he did. Right. I'm know, sure he did. He told, He said, I ain't never had a fan like you are. And, and so he sincere said, and honest and being yeah. from his own hometown, yes. I'm he sure said, it meant so much more. He said, if I live be 100 years old, I won't never forget you. God, wouldn't that, that would be great if he did, right? He, and you and know? he just, I mean, yeah. he just flipped, you know, when right. I told him who I was. And, you know what would have been great, and, Gene? Honestly, when you said, if Elf, when Elvis said, if I lived to be 100 years old, and he did, and what happened, he lost this, and I, and, 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 and I ended up getting it, and then we meet here, and I say, Gene, I think we should go off to Graceland and give it back to Elvis. Now, that would have been nice, right? Yeah. If he was here still and going to live to 100, it would. and I'd say, listen, let's go up and turn this to Elvis. It would. We'd be up there, you know? Yes. And I'd say, now Elvis, give us a ring each, you know? It I would. mean, yeah. It would. But that's great. I tell you, Gene, that, that is, uh, I'm so happy for you. But you he know? got as big a kick of seeing me as I did him. Oh, I'm sure I mean, he did. He, he, because he, and he couldn't have been no better. I mean, he right. was a perfect, perfect gentleman. As I mean, you are. Yeah, and just I, and Billy can tell you, I said, you know, Gene seems like the ultimate gentleman, you know, so I'm sure Elvis appreciated meeting someone like that that was sincere and handled himself with class. And, really, uh, really nice. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a memory not many can say, you know, yes. it really isn't, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm really so happy to meet you, you know, because I've watched that video so but many I, times. But I never did think that I would ever see this badge again. Well, I'm glad you did, you know, I'm really glad. I would, I am too. Yeah, I really am glad, because it is, uh, glad to... and I'm so glad to meet you, you know, yes. I really am. I'm glad been, to meet you. It's been, and you know, whenever I'm, I was actually, I mean, I, I, I go through Tupelo a lot, because I, I make some trips to Memphis for business, and then I always, every April I come, and then I drive through Tupelo, I was here this past April, on my way to University of Tuscaloosa football coaching yeah. clinic, yeah. that Coach Saban runs, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I always pass through, but any time I'm in, in Tupelo now, I'll make sure I'm going to stop and see you, and, and, and I'll bring the badge.
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you'd have a speeding ticket. You never know. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm no. only kidding. No. But I'm uh, telling you, though, I didn't think I would ever see this badge again. Wow. It's crazy, though. Because after you know, I looked at Grayson, looked at Grayson, right. and, you know. Well, I'm glad. I'm so glad. And uh, but, we could thank Billy for that, you know, for. Uh, yes. Because I never would have known. I, I contacted Billy right away very when much. I saw it. I said, Billy, you're not going to believe this. I said, but guess where that badge is, you know? And I told him, and then he said, he's the one that arranged this, mm -hmm. this meeting. So I'm, I'm really, really thankful. You know? I am too. I'm yeah, really, Chief. really glad. We'll, we'll, definitely, we'll definitely meet again, without a doubt, you know? Yes, sir. But, uh, that yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. It has been well taken care of. Yes. It will continue to be, I promise you that. You know, I really will. If you ever want to part with it, you know who needs it. Okay. If, I, I'll make this statement right now. <laughs> if I ever do... You will be the one. That's right. It's only that's only well, right. It. That's only it. there's only three people that'll ever own that badge. Me, you, you and, and Elvis. And Elvis. That's it. That's the way right. Elvis would have yes. wanted it. You yes. know? If anything ever happens. I, I Without a doubt. doubt. Yes. Without a doubt. You have my word on that, Gene. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. Without a doubt. You'll never see that in an auction or anything. That's right. Well, I appreciate it. No, no problem.